Hi and welcome to another episode of Spirit Fair. Uh, I think we just landed on the next island. We have to get the seeds if I'm not mistaken. is so beautiful so clean i like this art style it's really pretty okay so we have not gotten off okay let's speak to her we're here let's buy some seeds theodore has set up a shop on this island let's pay him a visit looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Cool. Oh, what's this? So we can just go in anyway. I'm sli simply a door you had. Yeah, me too. A local shop, Raccoon Inc. Only carriage carries garbage ways. <laughs> Seeds, logs, and rocks. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet hat. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if he takes a heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability eviscerate. Mm. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5, D, 2, 0, and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Okay. How the heck do I get up there then? Oh, that's so cool. Because <laughs> there's another thing over there, up there. I wonder if there's stairs. stairs indeed. Hmm. Oh, take a good look at the shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some ob objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fairer and the everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. Two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use obols to activate it. But to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Yeah. While in the air, press spacebar again to double jump. That's the new ability that I'm going to get. Once I get enough oobles. Oh, it's night time. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing. How do I get up there? Hmm. 
I'm sure all these people have fascinating conversations. Ooh, there's another one. <gasps> it's love? No. So if I got the double jump, I might be able to get on there. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Okay. Bye. Ooh. Key for hummingbird. Holy crap. <laughs> you can keep your key, dude. 5,000 Chiggy Whiskers. Uh, what do you count? Yeah, you can um, keep your seeds too. These aren't worth very much, are they? Right, jellies. But those were too hard to come by. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing a hummingbird since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. I've all I've got all the ways to make you spend those hard earned glimpses. Step right up. Yeah, I don't think so. What was that? Yeah, oh. crazy. His prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Oh, absolutely. Oh. Let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. <laughs> oh. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> What? Ma Madam, what's the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie. And neither am I. Mm -hmm. Little scam of yours won't work on us. Oh. But I I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm -hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Mm -hmm. Just fair prices. I so stop being dishonest at once, and next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter, got it? But yes, yes, of course. Promise you'll I'll just my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Oh, I like a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump in humanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. Some other idiot lost the key. <laughs> well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs, a crew forever. Hilarious. Okay, let's see. Uh, the price is still five. Okay, okay, well, that's better. 70. Jeez, like 7,000. Lost all two zeros there, buddy. Okay, linen seed. I Corn seed, coffee bean seed. I'm gonna buy one of those. I've got carrots. I'll buy corn. Buy more linen. Fantastic. 
if you've got everything you'll need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Alrighty. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary or Marguerite. It's Missy. Wait, no. Ish. Don't tell me it's... Oh, shoot. I'll get it someday. And just ask me, dude. It's really not that hard. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Oh. Listen, I just want... Don't want junk mail. <laughs> oh. It's hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. Then why the hell are you standing so? I'll scream. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought you had something to say. <laughs> That's so funny. Too dark to navigate. It'll be it'll be possible at dawn again. Well, let's go and plant some stuff. Stella, don't yell. Ah, yes, I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill and deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop the cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. And ringing that big bell over there to wake people up. And remember... Ready do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to go take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Noi do noi. Okay, so we've got that stuff planted. Now okay, let's plant some. Really? I planted two coffees. Oh dear. Well, that was uh, not what I meant to do. Okay, so let's go to sleep. Oh, I can actually ring the bell. It's morning. It is morning indeed. Okay, well, let's uh, sail then. Oh, wait, she has something to say. Ooh, what is that? That's new. Storms and stuff. Um, I do want to go. Arkansheim Creek? What is that? What is that? Oh, that's the Everdor. So that's going to be our new destination. So let's set sail. Let's go see what she wants. Looks mm. great. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your head. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Mm. Don't ask my word for it though. My gardening knowledge 
is as limited as my father's empathy. I'll have to find better mentors than me. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find a new people. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fair, and spirit fair fairers find spirits. Mm -hmm. And yes, up to fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Mm. Yo, let's sail. You ready? We are sailing. I don't, I can't think about anything else but food right now. I mean, she doesn't eat anything twice. Uh, let's give her some raspberries. Mm. Hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat food for the life of me. Mm. Oh, right. I've tried, but I just can't. Okay. Well, I've got fish. Mm. Things. I love it. Oh, yeah, she likes comfort food. Food and a hug. Thank you. Four beans. Barkenshaim Creek discovered. See, there's some trees I can chop. All aboard. Let's go. Slower. So, well, you must be you. What the heck is this? Oh. Great, you're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. I just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on this wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless it's just down there in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Sticky fingers. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. 
I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Just let's just go to your boat. Sure. Let's see, is this the end of the island? Yes. see what he is. Should be interesting. Oh wow, this boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Oh really? Holy crap, that's loud. Right. It's me, Stella. Your uncle at all. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been in that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. I was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. It set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... What? Is that a what? Uh, I knew it. <laughs> That's the Sea Master 2000. I actually never seen it in action. Only really heard the rumors. Apparently, you could catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage? Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately and give it a go for a fan. Turns red, it's about to break. Clear release E, but I did. Dude, dude. to the charts. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace leveling, ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. No idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh brother, I need to take a breather. Oh and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried. But yes, the water is very salty. I'll go and take a look around. You can fish your heart's content if you want. I got another obol. Now I should be able to upgrade. Would you look at that? You've got two obols. Remember that shrine in Hamburg? I'd try and add them there. 
If we're lucky, I might do something amazing. If not, you've wasted your time. You should go see. Yeah, I'm going to. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose we can go get some... Uh, To go back here to Hummingbird. some stuff. Uh, let's plant some corn for a change. There we go. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. <laughs> that face. Here, have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bots will cast sparkles where they about to hit. Rush towards those. Ah, I always forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle. Ooh, isn't that a banana? It's this world. Lightnings in bottles are pretty handy resources. So come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Oh, awesome. I was wondering how we're going to get lightning in a bottle. Oh, wow. was a double one. Was it? Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you're going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. You look pretty awesome catching those dots of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Well, that face is hilarious. sleep.
break your wake, you shake your legs. Let's go see if there's anything. Those two look ready to harvest. Nice. Well, let's plant some more linen there. Let's see if I can build the... Oh, I can. I can build the garden. Oh no. Okay, well that's not too bad. Yeah, that's better. My ladder just moved. Yeah. Oh, it did. It did indeed. Let's put some carrots, turnips. Be great right about now. Okay, snack it is then. Oh, and she doesn't eat. Fruit. Thank you, Stella. Oh, I just got at least someone's happy. Make someone okay. Love comfort food so damn much. What do you eat? You eat fruit. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. And the heck for you? Cute. Isn't that great? Favorite niece of mine. Oh, cute. Cuddles and everything. Let's go get that extra high jump. It's a double jump, rather. Space bar to double jump. Okay. There we go. You made it. Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier, it's not so great up here. <laughs> but you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. <laughs> Hello, sheep.
Hello. Oh, it's outside. Okay. Yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Of course you are busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Easy to jump high. Damn. Yeah, I can't get quite up there yet. My sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should just ask someone to rob me. <laughs> hmm. Just don't want to loan my sister money. So then don't. Just say no, bro. Who are you? What? Oh. You gave me such a fright. Cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil, is that you? Oh yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at the sea? You, you've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to get go through. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, must be something in the water here. I think. I love these. This is pretty. Nothing in the water. I hope I can jump higher eventually. Uh, it's just a little too high. Just a little bit. I wonder if I can get up to that other place now. Where was it? Here it is. Vibrant necklace. Okay, so I can't use it again. see who this is. Oh Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Is she a flower? Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you Stella. She is snake. a snake. Just as I thought I was about to reprimand you for lack of greenery on your boat, lo and behold you've already put together a wonderful little garden. 
Yeah, that's a snake. Yes, I feel you'll be an excellent student, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on our first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Let's see. Our first lesson will start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules that you probably noticed this already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. We see a garden as a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than more than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. As I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plant seems to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your purpose. Let's go. Old R to play the guitar. No man. Oh. Oh, I suck at this. This is gonna go on and on and on forever. Oops. There we go. Wow. That was quite long. Old Oedipal. I oh, was like, she's squatting. What are you doing? Quite incredible. Ha have you seen how these plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? No, I was focusing on A and a W and S and that stuff. Isn't that fabulous? As I expected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'm, I'll make sure to spread the word about the fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. It might help if in a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, yeah, this is for you. The strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Hilarious. Mm-hmm. 
You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. Again. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Mm. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for any, oh. anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. Nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Wind's Lodge. So what the heck does Gwen's Lodge require? Okay, well I don't have space for your lodge, Tibu. It is too large. Okay, not really actually. this here. Uh, can I move the kitchen? Yes. That way the ladder goes straight up. I prefer long ladders like this. That looks cool. Oh, I can only build one of those. Okay, cool. Done. Well, now she's got her house. She's sleeping. Let's go to sleep. Oh, I just put myself some water. My throat is getting dry. I've got much food. Let's get some fish quickly. Make some meals. I can wait a few seconds. new fishing rod. Just want to catch some fish. Empty bottle. Not fish. Can't eat empty bottles.
the heck, man? What the heck is this? Yeah, finally. That was just too much. Just a fish, please. Everything else can bugger off. Valuable necklace. Okay, well, clearly this is not the time to fish. is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. You're welcome. I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what else would make it even greater? More plans. Bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's shipyard could help you out. Okay, apparently we're going shopping. Uh, let's go do the gardening. She's got something to tell me. Want some more carrots? Water everything. What you gotta tell me? Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. Since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm not convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. Hmm. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept drawing to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Sad. Why are you sad? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Need a hug? Need a hug. Oh, you sweet. No. Okay, that looks better. Let's get sailing. Just got a new place, Mark. Oh, new. Let's go look some food, actually. Let's cook some corn. Let's 
Se están los zooms, jefe. Quick. A lightning storm. Don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. Full beans. Here we go again. Take a while. Um, let's see. I don't think I've got anything new. No, I don't. Let's go see what's in the garden. Food is almost there. Right at the same time, we will almost be there when this is finished. same time. <laughs> Green Halton Bay discovered. Squid skewer. Alrighty, well that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, really appreciate it. It's a very cute game, I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I go live again, post a video. And uh, drop a like if you enjoy my content. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!